Hey guys, my name is Ben and welcome back to another bucket plugin tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at sort of, um, well, two things really. And that's going to be like changing the item name. So like item names, changing them, the name and their color. And second of all, changing armor color. So armor color, dying armor and stuff. So it, this is all comes under something called item meta, meta, however you want to say it. M-E-T-A, meta, meta. Um, so, so yeah. But I guess we'll just get straight into it. Now we're gonna want to make a method. Um, I'm gonna gonna just make a method, I guess. So public. Um, we're gonna want to return an item stack. We're gonna return an item stack, um, and we're gonna call this set meta. And in its parameters, we're gonna want to take a item stack. So item stack, item stack. I can't type item stack. So item stack, item stack. String, we're going to take the name that we want to call this and a list string law. I'll explain that all in a second. So import item stack from org.bucket and that from java.util. I imported that from the wrong place. Uh, org.bucket. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to first of all just do a few checks. We want to say if um, our material is equal to nothing. So if the material, it's not material. I'm going to change this to material. It makes more sense. So item stack material. So if our material equals nothing, if we just put in null, um, or the material that they've given us is again nothing. So material dot air, um, or uh, the what the the name that they've supplied us. So the name is just nothing. So if the name they've given us is nothing. Um, and the the law that they've supplied us with is nothing. Then we just want to return nothing, <laughs> because um, because what what they've done. I material uh, dot get type. Sorry. There we go. Material dot get type equals material dot air. Let's have to do wrong import again. Org dot bucket dot material. If there we go. Okay, so. We want to check again. We want to check that if the material definitely is something and the material's type is something, um, and the name and the law both have value. So it's alright if one of them have like something, but we, we we need to make sure that both of them have a um, have something. Otherwise, we're just gonna return nothing. We're gonna return null because they've supplied us with null in corrupt in like not very good information. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get the item meta. Item meta, item meta, item meta, which goes calls im. It's going to equal a new, um, no, it's not, it's going to equal our material, so our item stack, dot get item meta. Okay, so import item meta from org.bucket, dot inventory, dot meta, dot item meta. So with this item meta, what we can do is we can change things around. So we want to check uh, the name. So if the name is not equal to nothing, so if it has a value, we're going to say item meta, dot set display name as the name. So all that's doing is that's going to change the display name of our item to be something. So where you have normally it says like, I don't know, redstone. Redstone, that would change the name of the thing. So when you scroll as well, it, it appears. So next we'll check if the law is not equal to nothing, then we're going to say item meta dot set law law. Now the reason this, this is a list in strings, it's the law is the enchantment sort of place. So where the enchantments go, that's the law. Okay. And for every new list for every new ob string object you put in this list it's a new line so we'll get onto that and how we actually import that into it in a second so we're now going to re-add this item meta back into our item so material dot set meta or set item meta to be item meta and then we're going to return our item stack so our material like so um there we go so if we put this into like a command, so on command, and we said if our label equals ignore case, um, cool new item. <laughs> um, obviously, this is just you know testing purposes. Return false. Return false. I can't spell. Return false. So cool new item. Then we'd say uh, sender dot get oh I need to actually cast this to player so player sender dot get inventory I need to import player from org dot bucket dot entity dot player dot get inventory dot add item 
and we're going to say set meta, we can literally just put set meta straight in here. Or actually, to make this sort of look a bit better, we're going to say item stack new item. And it's going to equal set meta. And the item stack, actually, we don't want this to be an item stack so much. We want this to more so. Actually, no, we don't. We want it to be material. So we're going to say new item stack. Item stack. Um, and we're going to have the material of dirt. Now, it's going to be really cool dirt. <laughs> really cool dirt. So the name we could have like chat color dot red plus cool dirt <laughs> and the law the way we, that we can add the law in is we can literally type um, arrays just type arrays dot as list and then in here we could put this dirt so this would be the first line so first line of dirt and then after this we could put a comma and then we could put second line of dirt <laughs> So they would be separate lines in the uh, in the law. So now we could give them this new item, and that will all be dandy, like so. So they've now got this cool new item using this method here. Okay. So this method gives us allows us to set the meta of items quickly and efficiently. Okay. What we're also going to do again is what I said earlier. Is we're going to learn about how to die armor. So let's say public item stack dye armor. Now this has to be done on leather armor because you can't change the color <laughs> of other armor. So material material. Now this takes three integers. This takes a red a green and a blue uh, for color. That's how we that's how we color things. We color things in RGB. Let me just RGB. Um, we do things so um, if you know anything about like colors and how colors work we have um, our, our colors, so we have red, green, and we have blue, and then we mix all these colors together in little bits and stuff. Um, RGB slider. So this is how this sort of works. So we can have like uh, two five five of each is the max we can have. So if we have two five five red, we get this color, and then if we add like say two five five green, we're gonna get yellow because red and green is yellow. And if we have two five five blue, we're gonna have white because all three colors. If we have like 255 blue and 255 red we're gonna get magenta and it's all stuff like that so that's how colors work and obviously we can slide these around and we can find colors we want. so let's find a color we want our armor to be i want our color our armor to be like that like that sign so that's 0153255 okay so we'll work that in a minute so to make armor colored we have to make a item stack of the armor so item stack armor equals new item stack item stack from the material that we've supplied it with so we're making a new item stack uh, that's going to have the material of what we've supplied it with now we type leather leather armor meta lamb <laughs> just call it lamb uh, equals and then we're going to cast it to leather armor meta and we're going to type armor dot get item meta now because we know this has to be well we can't we're, when we're dying armor we're always going to put in leather armor so we can put a check uh, but we're not going <laughs> to uh so we're going to we know that it's leather armor so we can automatically cast it to leather armor meta without you know no how, without knowing there's going to be any errors because there won't be because we are always going to put leather armor into this material category so now we're going to type lam so lamp dot set color and the color is going to be color dot from RGB. RGB. You want to make sure it's RGB. Um, now red, green, blue. We just type R comma G comma B. So that's going to convert that those color codes into an actual color. We can then just go back to say armor dot set item meta as LAM and return armor like so. So say um, we wanted a new command. So if label equals ignore case cool new armor <laughs> they want some cool new armor like so we could then say uh, player sender dot get inventory dot set boots right we're gonna give them some or let's let's say cool new boots they're gonna get some cool new boots I get my new shoes so so, <laughs> the color we wanted here was 0153255. So, I'm going to get the boots. So, I'm going to say item stack, item stack is equals new item. Or we can actually just say die armor. The material is going to be material dot leather boots, like so. 
and it was 0153255. That's going to return a nice cyan colored boots. And then we can just add this item stack. We can say new boots. We're going to add the new boots into their inventory. So that is how we do coloring of armor and how we change sort of item names and stuff. If you have any issues, email me at ben at the bcbrosbucket.com. Um, any other problems, comment down in the comment section below or send me a private message. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time.